till it should go. Okay, perfect. Here are the best practices based on the document that we have. I could ask it something in the CSV, for example, how much money we made in July 2025. I need to run it again because it's not live. There you go. It's, it gave us everything that we've made and then it made a summary of everything. Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today we're going to do a simple but yet very capable WAG agent. So why we're doing this? Because one of the most requested agents are RAG agents because they are based on knowledge base. So whenever a client or a company wants to do a, a RAG, basically in other terms, they want to get all their data in one place so they can chat with it, so they can ask it, so they can make, for example, a website bot that answers, a website AI agent that answers their clients. Or it could be internally when, whenever, whenever new employees join in and they want to know about the company or, about, or during the onboarding process, they could just ask the AI agent that is connected to a knowledge base. And whenever there's a knowledge base, whenever there are data, then a RAG is a must to have, okay? But don't worry, I'll simplify everything. We'll build it together now, okay? So let's first start with the first thing. So a WAG is divided into two parts. One, which is the agent part, which, which is the part where the, you ask it a question and it goes in and retrieves information. And the other part is, you could say the backend part is where you add information to its database, okay? So that's two parts. So what we're going to build is two parts. First of all, I'm going to name because I like to name stuff so that I don't get lost. So rag agent, okay? I'm going to start with a with a chat, but later on I'll connect it to Telegram. I'm going to utilize this chat connector pieces which are already made modular pieces of the chat, so I'm going to take the Telegram chat here and I'll connect it as well to our agent here, okay? So everything is already fixed for this. As you can see here, audio, image, text, everything is great and is working. So right now I have to, okay, chat and, and you can have a webhook as well. Depends on what you want. So what I want is now create an AI agent as simple as that. AI agent here. And then I'm going to connect it to the chat first here. I'm going to give it a brain, which is it's going to be, I'm going to use my operator account because it has everything I want. And for the, for the, for this one, you could use 4.1 mini. It's, it does the job. So I'm going to keep it at that. And then for the agent itself here, what I want is, of course, you can write a more comprehensive system message, but I, I like to write a simple one here. So you are a helpful assistant who retrieves data, okay? And what I want to do is basically connect it to the chat, which is exactly what I want things to go. So I'm going to close this, okay? So now it has a brain, it can communicate. Now, what I want next is first I need a memory. Now you can go with the simple, but I want to connect a Postgres chat memory here. So I'm going to select that. I have my account here, but I'm going to show you how you can get those information. If you go into your NA, uh, to your Superbase, sorry, and you click on the connect here. Well, let me, let me create a new credentials just so you guys can see it with me. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy this. This is the host. And then I'm going to copy the port. 
going to put it in the port section. And then I'm going to copy, this is, stays the same, and I'm going to copy this one. And the user. And then the password, I'll, I'll grab it right now. So I just pasted in my password, everything, I'm just checking if everything is good. I'm going to save. Okay, now it works. And it's connected and I have five. I can increase this, but just be aware of how much tokens you use. Now I have the, the chat memory. Now I, I can add the super base. So I want to go to the vector. Okay, so I want to retrieve documents exactly as a tool for agent. Exactly, this is what we want. So we want to retrieve documents. So basically, the, its job is to retrieve, retrieve information. And then we need to, and then here I would need to go ahead and go ahead and get the credentials from here. So project settings here, API keys, I think what we want, it needs the service role secret. So I'll get that from here. Okay. I'm going to pause the video so you guys don't see that. So I'm going to, I'm back in here. So I'm going to post my service role secret here. And then for the, for the actual host, I'm going to take it from, it's right here in the URL. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to go back here. And then it's going to be HTTPS, then this, and then dot superbase dot co and should be good to go. Okay. Credentials are successful. Now, what I want is to go ahead and go to this URL where I can set up everything. I'm going to copy this big SQL. I'm going to run it inside of the tables here. So here, SQL editor, and then I'm going to paste that in here. I'm going to run. So this basically creates a document table that has everything I need. If I go back to table editor here you will see a document created table with all the columns that I need. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to choose that. So documents and I'm going to include metadata and I'll just limit it to one. And then here I'm going to create query name. It should be match and then the the name of the actual table here, which is documents. Okay. Then it should be good in terms of here. Now I need to set up an embedding. And for that, I'll need to click on the embedding and I'll choose the open AI embedding and I'll choose the small one. Okay. That should be That should be it for the agent that going to retrieve everything. So I'm going to push that up a little bit, put that here. And then, so this agent goes into the document table and gets me all everything. It will search for in that. And it has a, a chat memory. It has a chat memory here using Postgres. And then the AI brain is just a GBT4 mini. Okay. So this one, this part is done. Now I can connect this to this instead of a chat. Both works, but I just need to make sure that if I connect it, it it's going to be JSON.txt, whatever it comes. So I'm going to re remove this, right? I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to grab all the agent here and I'm grab it here and then. I'm going to connect this. Okay. And then coming back here. And then what I'm going to say, it's not going to be from the chat, but it's going to be defined below. And it's going to be, I'll put in 
json dot text because that's what I know it will come from here. Okay, now it's connected to Telegram because I I utilized the chat connector pieces to simply do that. Okay. Now what we want is now a way to add the documents in. And I have all the documents here inside of a folder called RAG. And here we have LinkedIn best practices. We have a report with fake data about a about how much we've made, etc. And then we have also this PDF about employees handbook. Okay. So what we want is to connect everything. So let's let me go back here. I was creating here. And now I need to create the second part of the rag, which is the part where I'm going to add information in. Okay. And for that, we're going to use a Google Drive. And let's create, let's choose Drive. And I'm going to, it's going to be a trigger. So it's going to be, gets triggered when a specific file changes. Yeah. So make sure you, you change this to change the involvement in a specific folder because we want to watch for the folder. Okay. And then I'm going to choose the folder and I'm going to say when file is created and I'm going to name this file created. And then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to rename it to get another file called when file is updated. Okay. Now this will watch this folder for any change. And this is exactly what we want in this instance. So it will watch if the folder gets changed and then it will trigger this workflow. All right. So next thing I want to, I want an edit fields here. And in this one, basically, I want to get the information from both of these, from both of these incoming from the Google Drive. And I'm going to name this file ID. And then another one called file type. Okay. So both of these will take whatever comes from the Google Drive. So both of these needs to be connected to this. Okay, so both of these needs to be connected to this. And then this will get the ID and it will get the file type, right? Next thing we want to make sure is we want to make sure that the what we're adding is not already added so we need to make sure that if what we're adding is already added we want to delete first and then re-add it because if files gets updated we want to make sure that is the case and for that we're gonna create a super base now here it's going to be delete it's going to be delete row Okay, so I'm going to, so in, in, in order not to make this video very long, I'm going to show you how the final product work, works. And then, of course, I'm going to provide the whole workflow for you guys to actually use. All right, so this is the final one. So after the delete one, what I did is we're going to download the file that we got. And we have a switch here to switch between PDF, text, or CSV. It will switch depending on the, the file that we had, if it's PDF, the MIME type, and if it's text or if it's CSV, basically this covers basically most documents that you will find in a company. Then if it's a CSV, then we're going to get a table and in order to get that information in, we need to aggregate that table into one data and then concatenate everything into a string so, so that we can insert it. And this is very important. Lots of people forget about this part. So this part is what inserts into the Superbase, uh, Superbase uh, vector. Make sure you have that in. And for the default data loader, you can use a default one. I would I use the recursive text splitter. So it basically splits the text based on the length.
Uh, so the two parts again is the agent part uh, and then the part that feeds in information okay so i have all my information fed in now let me launch let me launch telegram here just a second okay now i have telegram in i'm going to execute the workflow so it waits on a telegram message Okay, now it's waiting on a telegram message. Let me ask it a question. So I'm going to ask. Let me ask about LinkedIn. Okay. What are LinkedIn best practices? So it should go. Okay, perfect. Here are the best practices based on the document that we have. I could ask something in the CSV, for example, how much money have we made in July 2025? I need to run it again because it's not live. There you go. It's, it gave us everything that we've made and then it made a summary of everything. That's good. What is the most important thing to keep in mind while working in Valve? And then I'll run this again. Great. So it gave us something back from them. So again, this is the power of, let me close down Telegram. This is the power of, of having knowledge base and the power of RAG, right? It, it always gives you, goes in and retrieves information that you've put in. And this is a very dynamic system. So whenever the company adds in documents, or even updates documents in that regard, these two get triggered. And when these two get triggered, they all, they all go into this funnel and they all get embedded inside of the documents table that we have in Superbase. And this is, this is like a live scenario that happens every time there's a new document. So it's a growing database. And this agent is the, you could say the front end, the, the face, the interface work, you could ask it questions. It will go ahead and bring everything from the knowledge base. Okay. Now you can make the, today we've made it on Telegram, but you could put it as chat. You can make it a website bot as well, if you wish. Okay. So I'm going to provide you with this whole workflow for you to be able to just use and resell for your clients or use in your company or whatever that you guys need. And I'm going to make it available inside of my community. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you do have any comments, post them down, down below. I'll see you in the next one.